starts right now. They were stabbed while sleeping inside their own home by a complete stranger and they survived. Tonight, the Taylorsville couple who were victims of this random crime are sharing their story. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Kelly Chapman. And I'm Bob Evans. In an exclusive interview you'll only see here, Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree spoke with both of them about the frightening ordeal and who they say helped save their lives. J.J. Dasher was sound asleep Tuesday morning when he says something stirred him awake. I kind of half opened my eyes and there was a, a figure just standing right over her bed. At first, he thought he was dreaming. I immediately just flew out of bed screaming and uh, started punching him, but he, at the same time, he's stabbing me. J.J. says he was stabbed 12 times. His right lung collapsed. Then the attacker turned on his wife, Ashley. I screamed at her to run. She ran out of the house towards the neighbors. He was still stabbing her as she was running all the way to, to the neighbor's porch, still stabbing her. Luckily, Ashley's screams woke up the Hathaways next door. She came screaming and that's what woke us up. So we jumped out of bed, immediately called 911. Police arrived within a minute and the attacker fled. An hour later, officers took a 15-year-old boy into custody. Ashley says she would have died on her neighbor's porch if they hadn't acted so fast. They weren't there. Like, it would be so different, but I'm really thankful for them. Every night, the Dashers lock their front door before going to bed, except for this past Monday. They tell us the 15-year-old just let himself into their home because the door was unlocked. We just turned out we forgot that night, um, but now we're going to definitely be more diligent, probably set up some more security. After being in the hospital for more than two days, the Dashers just want to be with their 10-year-old son. He's nonverbal autistic, and uh, luckily he just slept through it, uh, even though it was we were tremendous. It was extremely loud. If JJ could talk to the teen who randomly decided to attack him and his wife, he says he would just ask one question: Why? I don't think I'm mad at him. It, it's he must be in an unfortunate situation. I don't know if it's mental health issues, abusive household. I don't know. With J.J. on the mend, he may be discharged as early as Thursday night. Ashley will likely stay in the hospital for a few more days. In Taylorsville, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah. Wow, what a story. The Dashers have started a GoFundMe to cover the medical costs for both of their surgeries. You can find a link for that on our website, fox13now.com.